So as it moves into Mexico, there's going to be some flooding rains there. That's going to be the biggest threat with this storm down there. It'll weaken to a tropical depression on Thursday and then reemerge back into the fertile waters of the southern Bay of Campeche and track to the north through the western Gulf, making uh, a line toward Louisiana. I think the best geographic window for landfall on this is going to be between Galveston, Texas and New Orleans in Louisiana as this works in as a strong tropical storm Sunday night into Monday morning. There is some wind shear it's going to have to contend with and that's why I don't think we see this strengthen beyond a strong tropical storm. One of the questions I've been getting a lot is why isn't this going to make a turn toward Texas and specifically to the southern part of Texas and it has to do with high pressure to our west. It's gonna stay west and slightly north of us through Friday and Saturday, and that placement will buffer us from this storm. Uh, as it does start to work toward the northern Gulf of Mexico, it's gonna be roughly, let's see here, uh, 400 to 500 miles away from us offshore, but that'll be close enough to give us coastal side effects, meaning bigger than normal tides and waves, some minor coastal flooding, and a high risk for rip currents. That'll be happening this weekend as that storm approaches uh, Louisiana. The reason I think that southeastern Texas, the Galveston area is still not out of the woods is because watch that high pressure feature. It continues to move east on Sunday and that eastward movement is gonna turn Cristobal slightly more to the west. So, um, you know, exact landfall is still not a surefire bet, but I don't think it's going to be a problem for us here. In fact, we get hot as that system steals moisture from the coastal bend.